welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this video I'm going to show you an expansion for It's a Wonderful World and that is the expansion Corruption and Ascension. And this expansion adds two new players so you can now play up to seven players and they add a new separate deck of cards to the game. Some that are very cheap and come with a cost and some are very expensive but they will give you a lot of points. So please let me show you what's inside this expansion. I'm not going to explain the base game. And because this expansion adds two more players, we have two new starting Imperium cards with extra materials. And we have these tokens worth three points of either the Finance Man or the General, in case you collect a lot of these. And we have a nice erasable scoring tableau. So now you can write down the scores on this board and you can erase it when you're done. Also in the rulebook, there are six scenarios to play solo. So you have a solo campaign added. But the main part of this expansion are these new cards and they have a different back so you can separate them because you will add them separately to the game. This is the Dutch rulebook but according to the number of players you will get a number of cards from the base game and the number of cards from the expansion. And then you're ready to play just as the normal base game. What are the cards? These are kind of normal cards. Nothing new or special about them. But then we have these cards and these are very easy, very cheap to build and they give you a nice reward. But as you can see, they also scrap one resource. So for example, if I build this building, in the next production phase, I will get two green cubes, but I will get one black cube less. So if my black production would be two, when I build this card, it will go down to one. This is not something you have to pay, it is something you will not receive. So if I don't produce any black cubes at all, then nothing happens. So this you deduct from your production. And there are multiple variants of this card. Easy to build, give you nice rewards, but it will also cost you one reward. Then we have these cards that are not so easy to build. As you can see, we need two rows of resources. And it's nice if you get one of these cards at the start of the game, so you can start working toward it. A lot of resources, but if you manage to finish one, it will get you 25 points at the end of the game. And then there are these cards. They are also quite expensive, but also these cards will give you a lot of points if you combine stuff. For each set of a yellow and a blue building, you will get 12 points if you have built it at the end of the game. So with this card, you will hope to build a lot of yellow and blue buildings. And maybe you can even combine them with this card, where you get 10 points for every blue and green building. So if you have those two built, they both go with the blue card, so you can combine maybe something. And there are all sorts of combinations with points you will get for sets. Like this one, for each black building and for each blue token, you will get six points. And so on, and so on. If you build the orbital station, you're going to collect those tokens, because every set of blue and orange will give you six points. So that's what these cards do. And that is basically everything that is in this expansion. New materials to play up to seven players, a scoreboard, six new solo scenarios, and these new cards that are not shuffled into the base deck, but they are a separate deck you shuffle at the beginning of the game. And each player will get a couple of them. So it's not an expansion that puts really new stuff into the game. If you don't like It's a Wonderful World, you still will not like it with this expansion. But if you played a couple of games of It's a Wonderful World and you like some new cards to see, or you need more players to play with, then this is a nice expansion for you. If you have any questions about this expansion or It's a Wonderful World, please let me know in the comments below. My name is David, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.